With all the impeachment testimony last week, uh, Trump had a ton on his plate, uh, also a lot to do. But <laughs> oh, he man. still he still found time to spend with his Fox and friends. Because on Friday, he called in for an old-fashioned 53-minute conspiracy ramble, starting with debunked claims about the DNC server. They gave the server to CrowdStrike, or whatever it's called, which is a, country, which is a company owned by a very wealthy Ukrainian. And I still want to see that server. You know, the FBI has never gotten that server. That's a big part of this whole thing. Why did they give it to a Ukrainian company? For Pete's sake, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. At least let us get a cup of coffee before you start passing out the crazy pills. <laughs> Look, why? Wake up. Wake up. I got to tell Wake up. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Look, why were there chemtrails on the grassy knoll? Did vaccines cost Jeffrey Epstein? And how did we really... How did we go to the moon when once a month the moon's not even there? Okay? Wake up. Now... You had to get him all the way up. Get him all the way up. Uh, here's the, way. the thing about CrowdStrike in Ukraine. That's not a thing. CrowdStrike's an American company, not owned by a Ukrainian, and they're so trustworthy that one of their big customers is the Republican Party. <laughs> Even Fox and friend Steve Ducey tried to get the president to reel it in a little. Why did they give it to a Ukrainian company? Are you sure they did that? Are you sure they gave it to Ukraine? Well, that's what the word is. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, getting fact-checked by Fox and friends it's like the Incredible Hulk telling you he doesn't like you when you're angry. <laughs> Trump also complained about the way Republicans treated Marie Yovanovitch, the ambassador he fired after a smear campaign courtesy of Rudy Giuliani. I said, why are you being so kind? Well, sir, she's a woman. We have to be nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, the GOP is so famous for being nice to women that 500,000 of them marched on Washington wearing pink thank you hats. <laughs> Of course. Oh, yeah. That's the shot. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, remember that? I remember that. Remember that? that? I remember that. Remember that? that? Come on. Come on, India Owen. They got fans too. Of course, it wouldn't be a rambling Trump phone call without some mention of Nancy Pelosi. I have to deal with crazy Nancy. I mean, she's crazy as a, as a bed bug. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna fact check you there. Bed bugs are the opposite of crazy. They are focused on their target and they work as a team. <laughs> Though it is a great analogy for Nancy Pelosi because when you get bed bugs, you're the one who has to move out of the house. 